OK. Um, so the main important thing, guys, is we want to graph the information to at least kind of get an understanding of what information we have. So we have our two covertices, all right, negative 2, negative 1, and then at 2, negative 1. So those are your covertices. Now that immediately tells me that my major axis is now going to be vertical, right, because my covertices lie on the minor axis. Um, so I can automatically just write the equation for a vertical major axis, x minus h squared over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. Is that a lot right there, right? Just, just from plotting two points, I was able to know with the orientation of my lips. Based on these two points, I also know that the midpoint is going to be my center, so which is at 0 comma negative 1, right? That's my h and my k. Yes? And then what else do I need to figure out? I need to figure out a and b. Well, I know that b is the distance from my center to both of my covertices, which is 2. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Let's, oh, I'm sorry. And then there's also, it has to go through the point zero, zero 003. Huh. OK, well, that point zero 003, that could represent the x and the y, though, right, of any point that, ri that lies on the ellipse. So now I can plug in x, y, h, k, and b. And the only thing I don't know is a. But could I solve for a? Of course I could. Well, let's, let's plug in everything. So I get 0 minus h which is 0, squared over b squared, which is 2 squared, plus y, which is 3, minus k, which is minus a negative 1. People usually forget those um, parentheses. And then all over a squared equals 1. Well, 0 squared is 0, or 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 squared is 0. 0 divided by 4 is 0. So really, I'm just kind of left with, over here, 3 minus a negative 1 is 4. 4 squared is 16 over a squared equals 1. So could I say a squared then is equal to 16? Just multiplying a squared on both sides. Right? Oh, guess what? I know what a squared is. And I already know what b squared is. Can I now just plug that information into my formula? Harrison, does that make sense? No? So therefore, I'm just going to do x minus h which so that would be x squared over 4 plus y minus <coughs> or y plus 1 squared over 16 equals 1. Have I got it? Have I got it? Huh? No? Yeah. All right. There you go. Good job. That's. <laughs>